There's nothing that makes me more frustrated than Christian idiots. Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Christian idiots. By the way, I'm in this category too. Yeah. I have a feeling that most of us really belong here because we don't always get it right, do we? And sometimes we really act like idiots. And man, the last few days, just watching social media blow up with this whole red cup thing, it's always something, isn't it? I just realized how, well, how many idiots we have, seriously. You know, we keep thinking that our purpose for being here is this war between us versus them. The war between Christians and non-Christians. The war between those people that are following Christ and those people that have some kind of conspiracy or something against him. And it isn't true. Our purpose for being here is to love people into the kingdom of God. To give an example of Christ's unconditional love that isn't one of judgment, but one of unconditional love. A love that says no matter where you're at, no matter who you are, no matter how messed up your life is, no matter how much of an idiot you might be, Christ died for you. Do I stop being an idiot when I become a Christian? Unfortunately not. I don't have a reset button in my head and still do stupid things sometimes. But the Bible says that the answer to that is to be ruled by love. And again, when Christ gave his greatest commandment, he said to love. Love, love, love. We've talked about this a lot. Love God, love your neighbor, love you. What does that have to do with it? Folks, when you're really about the business of loving people, you don't have any room for condemnation. You don't have any room for, well, being an idiot, for judging, for being offended by everything the world does. Be if being offended at Starbucks because they don't put snowflakes on a cup? Seriously? Has it really come to this? It just makes me sad because I, I've been watching on YouTube people's reactions just out of curiosity. And people are jumping all over this whole... See, here goes another Christian, another person who's an idiot and doesn't get it. And I sit there and I think, yeah, I agree. I do. I have a hard time defending Christians who are being stupid, who are being idiots, who are doing exactly the thing that Christ told us not to. Folks, my prayer for me, my prayer for you, is that we fall in love with the people in this world. That no matter who they are, no matter what they're doing, no matter what their crimes or their idiocy may be, that we fall in love with them and see through all of that so they can see Jesus in us. You know, that's the bottom line. And if you don't get that, you don't understand what the foundation of Christianity honestly is. That's it in a nutshell love. I love that part. I really do. Because you see, God can still use an idiot like me as long as I'm willing to be love in his hands. And I hope you'll think about this a little more before you go on Don rants and before you keep getting so offended by the world all the time. It's not our job to be offended. It's our job to love. And uh, I'm not saying love the world. I'm saying love the people in it. Overlook their sin and love the people. It's not that hard. The concept isn't that hard. Sometimes loving some people is a little more difficult. But folks, this is so important right now. I feel like we have so much at stake because we're not getting this. Because we're not understanding what real love is all about. And I hope you won't make these mistakes those of you that err on the side of judgment and not love, please begin to allow the Lord to love unconditionally through you.
God bless you. Have a great day.